Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farron channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys three budget CPU mining bundles so that you can get started on mining with a budget or an entry point for new miners that are interested in getting involved in CPU mining. Okay guys, so the first CPU that's on my list is a AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. The reason I chose this one is because if you can pick this up second hand, this is a really, really good steal on, a, on on these because they go a pretty good price for around about, you know, $200 to potentially just a little bit higher than that. And then you can grab yourself and pick yourself up a motherboard for around about 30 to 40 bucks as well to accompany that. Um, but here I'm going to show you a little bundle as well with it on Amazon. As you can see here, you can get the full set here for about, you know, three, nine four in gbp which is pretty high priced so i'd always recommend using ebay and things like that to to score yourself you know like a reasonable deal i mean that doesn't even include you know the ram and things like that but i'd always pick those up as well second hand as well just to keep things cheap if you are you know somebody that's just starting out because you're going to want to make sure that you keep all your costs low and things like that one of the things as well that i do like about the amd ryzen 7 is that it does run at about 105 watts so that's definitely something you know to, to take into account as well but that is assuming that you are running this on the random x uh, algorithm if you was you know using it to to mine so let's take a look over at the pricing and how much you can actually earn monthly you know from actually having you and using one of these cpus so as you can see there on the random x it has around about you know seven killer hashes and it's saying it's earns around about four dollars seventy seven so let's cross reference this because you know i can't you know be for sure if hashrace.com is a trusted or verified website so let's just take a look over on nicehash.com so let's just do a quick update on there just to see and i don't have any power costs in there at the moment because like i say every each and every individual will have their own power costs and you'll have to uh, calculate that in there for yourself but as you can see it does say that you would make around about you know five pounds fifty a month so let's switch that over to let's see if i can do it for you here let's change that to usd because i know most people understand usd a lot better so let's have a look so in usd that would be about six six dollars twelve so you can see that has gone up a little bit more but what you can do if you go ahead and take yourself over to rapid mining's cpu calculator that is lovely uh, made for us all if you really know the hash rates which I do for that CPU and like I say it does run on those algorithms at those speed and if you just calculate you can actually see there that if you don't use so let's go down to the Monero if you use a complete different you know algorithm to mine on so if you you know decide to use you know Ghost Rider instead so let's say the uh, the rhythm you on that would let's say it would fluctuate as well it could fluctuate and like I say your power costs will also come into account as well but if you take it, uh, a calculator up and paste that in there, times that by, let's say, an average of 30 days, you know, you're going to be probably earning around about $25 a month instead of, you know, the, the five to six that you could potentially earn from just mining on RandomX. So, you know, if this is something that, you you know, you think about starting up with, you know, definitely this could be a good little, little starter at 25, you know, USD a month, you know, to to get your thing. I mean, like I say, when it comes to ROI, it's really, really, you know, dependent on yourself. Um, you know how far much you want to buy and how much you know you pay for it. If you the cheaper that you actually get your equipment for, so if you do scour eBay for the best deals and things like that, and you get them for the best price, then you are gonna save so much more money instead of you know buying yourself something off Amazon specifically. But as you can see, for the first CPU there, it could potentially make you around about twenty five bucks at the current market at this time. And I also will leave a link in the description for an Amazon link that I will get a bit of a kickback for, but it will have all the individual pieces and parts so that you can actually go ahead and select them and put them together if you wanted to build yourself a rig purely just by going to eBay and you know picking out the parts that I've mentioned in this video. Okay guys, and this is the second CPU on my list, which is an AMD Ryzen 3600. And this is a six core processor. Now on the random X algorithm, this runs at around about 6.6 .6 kilo hashes according to hashrates.com. Um, you know, myself personally, I, I do own one of these uh, in one of my rigs as well. 
um, and depending on which algorithm it's actually running that depends really so I've seen it at highest probably around about six and then at the lowest I've probably seen it around about you know 1200 you know kilo hashes when it's actually you know doing what it's doing so let's little have a take a little look over at the pricing as well so this is cheaper than the the previous one and this is coming in at around about 289 pounds and I have actually seen these as I said previous I can see these you know so much more cheaper secondhand uh, on eBay you can you can pick these up sometimes for a hundred you know so make sure that you definitely do you know cross reference cross reference and search and do your own research to find the best price for yourself because um, you know Amazon isn't always the best place to pick it up but like I say if you're in a rush it is not too bad to get yourself you know, into the game but it does come along with this bundle here it does come along with a good uh, you know motherboard set for you but as I say um, this does actually have this is actually priced with the RAM um, so that's not too bad in some considerations but let's take a look over now I guess at the price to see how much you know that you could earn from this so if we was, if we take a look over on the hashrates.com it's saying you'd roughly earn around about four dollars fifty nine on Monero so let's just take a cross reference on to nice hash to see what they're saying so they're saying pretty much the same as well and then let's take a look over on to rabbit minings and let's have a little look so this one's running about six thousand I'm not gonna put it to the full six thousand six hundred because I personally have this and I've never seen it uh, you know reach that high ever okay and for this specific coin okay it's saying that you know Jagon coin would be the most profitable for it and that he would earn 76 cents a day instead of the uh, the 15 USD cents should I say you know based from them so let's pull up the calculator again and what was this 0 0.76 and then times that by let's say 30 days so that would work out to be 22.8 USD a month so like I say if you're thinking about the the Ryzen 7 then you're looking at the you know 3600 they're not that too far off each other and as I say the most people do think that there's just Monero only to mine but there is you know plenty of other coins that are worth you know checking out and cons okay so taking a look over now at the last on the list which is number three is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600 this is also a six core processor as well and this is also the cheapest on the list as far as what to buy and to purchase okay so on the random X algorithm it is running at a hash rate of around about 4.5 let's say kilo hashes so let's take a look over at the pricing so as you can see here on Amazon it's going for around about 260 in a full bundle with everything ready to go and that's a pretty good motherboard as well to go with it but as I'd always say again guys is make sure to if you really really want to save on every single penny that you can do make sure you do go check for deals and things like that on eBay because you know you can pick uh, a Ryzen 5 2600 you know up for around about uh, I'd say 82 to 100 you know GBP in or even up to you know like $110 or something like that if we, if we do conversions there so make sure you you know check out and think about that as well so let's look over at the actual pricing of how much you can make uh, per day so if you was you know just on Monero only you can make around about nine cents per day in USD and a month that would equate to about 2.71 USD and the pricing hasn't really changed much really over the past month as well with that so let's take a look over at the rapid mine and I was just seeing if it showed the hash rate for this one on there okay so it does it shows that four kilo hash yeah. okay so I actually also do have one of these CPUs as well in one of my computers um, I just don't always uh, check for all of them but I do believe um, that this one uh, runs around about here for me around about 3,000 uh, hashes but I will put 4,000 in there just because I know for myself that's what it's around at. It, it may be just how I've got it set and may not have the settings right but let's just check to see what it would earn okay so as you can see there it's saying if it was to mine on Jagon coin it would make around about 38 cents per day so pulling out the calculator again for this one let's paste that into there and times that by an average of 30 days let's say 
that would equate to uh, $11.40 that you could earn a month just from having that CPU. And as I say guys, the reason why uh, I'm doing this video is because I do believe there's probably a lot of people out there that are interested in starting mining and they don't know where, you know, or what type of CPUs that they can, you know, mine on. And this is one of those type of CPUs or I should say all three of these are the CPUs that you can kind of get going. Like I said, as long as you, you know, build it safely and, you know, watch enough videos and things like that, it shouldn't be too hard to get yourself you know from from having nothing to a, a nice a nice little rig just you know wearing away in the corner there collecting you up some either jago coin batorium raptarium theta and things like that and there's always plenty of tutorials you know over this channel plus uh, all over youtube you know on how to set yourself up mining once you do get to that point okay guys so leave me a comment in the comment section on which cpu you think would be the best to mine from as you can see there the amd ryzen threadripper is clearly the best CPU to, to mine on but out of, the, out of the three that's been mentioned in this video and if you've took anything from this video or you've found anything useful for it then make sure to leave us a like and subscribe maybe even leave us a comment on you know what CPU you've got yourself or what you'll be using and things like that right guys I'll see you guys in the next video